When you have a million things to do and so many responsibilities that you are trying to keep up with, it is really easy to literally lose your mind and go crazy because you can't do it all and you have to figure out what to prioritize and where to spend your precious time and energy. And sometimes you're left feeling like a failure because if those things are out of alignment, then you feel like you don't have much to show and you might not be making traction towards your big dreams to live your best, most fulfilling life. But that's why I am so honored to share with you the peace and productivity planner by your simply big life I just found this planner and wow it's like the creator was inside of my mind because everything about this the entire way it is laid out all of its contents are exactly what I would have done if I was designing a planner and so I can't wait to open this up show you how amazing it is it is a 90 day undated hard planner and it's just got so much good stuff inside to help you set and reach your goals to track your habits but again to really make sure that you are living a purposeful life so that you're not wasting your time or your energy and you're staying focused on what matters to you. If we haven't met, I'm Amber with Solutions for Simplicity. I am a full-time working mom of four young boys and a productivity coach by night, professor by day, so much going on, and I have to be productive. In fact, I learned the hard way that all of the old productivity methods that I had before kids really weren't working and, and I just had to change everything once I became a mom. So whether you have a family or not, this planner is incredible, but I think especially if you are someone that is trying to juggle home life and ambitions or work life, like this is just what you need. But really quickly, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. I make weekly videos on planning, productivity, and purposeful living, and I would love to connect further. So this is the Peace and Productivity Planner by Your Simply Big Life, and it's really tall. I don't know if you can tell because it's hard for me to fit it all in the picture here, but oh, it is just gorgeous. It is a hard book binding, and the cover is so sturdy, like... This is like a real hardcover book. It's so nice. And then it's got this embossed, uh, what is this, a lotus flower here. Just very pretty. I love the font. And it just makes me so happy to look at this because even reading Peace and Productivity just reminds me to take a deep breath and that it's all going to be okay. So you open it up and have this reminder that the point of this planner is to help you cultivate your time, energy, and focus who doesn't need that? You do. I do. So this is going to be so great. I love that there is this backstory behind how and why Sarah, the creator, made this planner. And then there are some important tips here for how to be productive. And I love that she takes this really holistic approach. It's the same thing that I feel like I'm always talking about in my YouTube videos, where we're really not only trying to be intentional with our time, but mindful of our energy, and then make sure that we are performing at our peak level, that we are really living out our priorities and making sure that we are doing what needs doing so that we don't get any more stressed than we might already be. Ideally, we'll get less stressed by planning. Here you have room to write your core values, what motivates and excites you, what makes you angry or frustrated, what qualities do you admire in others, what value could you not live without? And then you can name and define your top five core values. This is a really fascinating exercise. It's actually a conversation that my husband and I had a few months ago believe it or not, after 17 years of marriage, it's like we're finally sitting down and, and talking more about our values. We try and live them out, but we hadn't really expressed them. So it's great that this planner helps you do that. But goodness, that self-reflection and personal development and just growing in awareness of who you are and how you want to be, it's so important for a fulfilling life. So this is, again, just a really great resource to do that. Here you've got information on how to use the pages that follow. And I just think this is so cool. So here you have a page to create your life vision and really think about the categories of your life, what all is important to you and maybe what percentage of your time you want to uh, fill 
in each category and then also write words or draw pictures of how that category fits into your overall life. You can write out or mind map and, and just kind of brainstorm what a successful life looks and feels like to you. Create your life vision. And this exercise is so powerful because as many of you know, I just lost my mom to cancer this past spring and she didn't make it anywhere near 90 years old. But I sure want to make sure that I am living my life now in a way that fulfills my mission and, and just helps me make the most of every moment so that I don't get to old age and regret anything. So, so great. And then what does your ideal day look and feel like? That's great. Next up, we have a seasonal life audit where you can kind of rate how aligned your life is with the different categories that you put on the other page. These um, wheel trackers are just so neat. I love them. And then you can kind of score yourself and elaborate on why you put those numbers here, you do the same thing for your energy levels in terms of your physical energy, mental energy, emotional energy, and spiritual energy. Again, really holistic approach. You can identify energy drainers versus energy fillers. And oh my goodness, could I go on and on and on about the things I have learned that drain my energy, right? Things like being around People who drag you down, having more to do than time to do it, not taking care of myself, not getting good sleep, uh, you know, just random things that come up. Let me know in the comments what some of your energy drainers are versus energy fillers are things for me like having a creative outlet, making time for what brings me joy, doing something for myself, moving my body, having time with friends, really having quality time with my kids. Let me know what you would put here. Then you get straight into goal setting. And you should know by now that I am the biggest goal setter. I am so passionate about helping you set and slay your goals. So side note, look in the um, description for information on my Goal Slayer Gals program. But here you have room to really identify the one goal, the area that you're gonna focus on this season. And then do a brain dump on how you can be successful in that. Then you can break down the action steps and the habits that it takes to achieve that goal. And this is so important because you wanna really pinpoint from the beginning what it's gonna take to get there so that you can be realistic and have that concrete plan in place and make sure that you're on track to, to reach your goal. Weekly rhythms are the habits, routines, workflows, and systems that help your life run more smoothly so you can brainstorm ways to help everything go better in terms of your personal energy, relationships, home life, and work life. Create a template for your ideal week. I am such a proponent of block scheduling and using a time block method to make sure that you are batching tasks and, and have pre-identified what you're going to do in different time windows. But I've never seen it set up this way and I love it because you can identify your top priority here, your daily focus, right? Maybe a theme for different days and then um, maybe a morning, an afternoon and an evening block or whatever works for you. You can set specific times if you want or just have a general rhythm to your week. So, so helpful. I'm definitely going to be using this. Then we get into the monthly pages and you have all the months here up front so that you can just make sure that everything is laid out. There's room for three months at a time. So this is again, a quarterly goal planner, right? A season, winter, spring, summer, or fall, or any maybe 90 day period as it applies to you. Start it whenever, um, but here you can write out whatever is going on for you in different months. I personally love that this is undated because it makes it so customizable. I have often found that I start planning and I fill a planner out, but then something comes up and plans need to change. So if you have an undated planner, you can fill a little bit out at a time and then come back and maybe a month or two later or whatever happens, you can still make sure and get the most out of your planner rather than lose space and waste money because you didn't get to use the dates that were already written in for you. But you can see here that you can write the month up top and then identify your goals that you have for this particular month, any notes and tasks that you can think of. 
Again, I just love this font. Then you get to the weekly pages and it's all set up so that you start the week with a brain dump of what you need to do, particularly towards your goals. And you can cross off that you did a goal check-in, which is so important for holding yourself accountable. You can reflect on the prior week and what your wins were, how you're doing in terms of living out your values, how you're feeling energetically, and really have that concrete plan for your focus in the coming week. That is followed by a habit tracker. And this is such a blank slate for putting in all of the different habits you might want to track and then checking them off as you go through. Then you have schedule pages where you can uh, write in appointments or again, your specific tasks for different times. I love that this goes from early morning to late at night. And then there's always space to write your gratitude. Again, underscore the priorities for that particular day. Make sure you're not taking on too much and lots of note space. This is really helpful for me because I'm constantly thinking of things that I need to do or that I wanna to get to later. And I have to force myself not to deviate from current plans and stay focused on what I'm doing. But if I can jot it down, then I know it's safe and I don't need to store it in my brain anymore. This is gonna be a great resource for that. So you have seven days worth of these schedule pages before you get to another set of weekly pages. And I'm just gonna flip through pretty fast here, but that's all the same. I do wanna point out these beautiful ribbons. There are three that come with the planner so that you can put them in the current month and the current week or the day, whatever it is that you need. So that's really awesome. So much good stuff in here. And then at the very back, there are all of these extra notes pages. I love that they are lined so that I can make everything look neat and pretty, but there's tons of space here. There's even some blank pages at the back. And wow, this is so, so valuable for helping you have that peaceful mindset, clarify what your priorities are, and then sit down to be productive with what you have planned out. It's so, so awesome. Comment below and let me know what your favorite part of this planner was, but seriously, it's all just amazing. I am especially a fan of the goal setting pages and the exercises that get you thinking about the different categories of your life so that we can ensure our life doesn't get out of balance, right? That we're not over prioritizing work and forgetting to take care of ourselves or what have you. I can't recommend this highly enough. There's a link for you down in the description, but it will seriously help you achieve a more peaceful, purposeful, productive life, which again is the mission of my whole channel. And that's why I'm so excited to have found this planner and be able to share it with you. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you, and check out these videos so that you can really set your plans up for success. I'll see you back soon. Have a great day.